We have an update now to a story we brought you earlier this year. A home in San Marcos that once had piles of tires, appliances, and clothing on its front lawn has since been cleaned up. Neighbors ended up buying the land from the property owner and then just started clearing all the garbage. KXN's Sarah Alsheh explains how the county is working to address these types of situations, and she gives us an inside look at this cleanup process. At the beginning of this year, you couldn't walk on this property without stepping over furniture, tires, or trash bags. But now this path is completely clear. The two neighbors who just bought this property say they intend to keep it that way. Packed with um, trash, with things that have been, you know, hoarded. Uh, dog feces, dead rats. It was nothing like Krista Peepaw's ever experienced in her life. The odor was just horrible. Um, unfortunately, our, several of our crews got sick and they were coming out and vomiting. Piles of trash sat on this land in San Marcos, growing for months and months. Peepaw was once just a neighbor to this property, but now she co-owns it. The owner reached out to us and, and offered for us to buy it. The people that were illegally done Dumping on the property were not the owners, they were squatters. Within just eight days, Peepa says they completely cleared out the trash, taking out a total of 21 semi truck loads. <laughs> Hayes County commissioners say steps are being taken to address these kinds of situations. In a statement sent to KXAN, Commissioner Lon Shell says an environmental task force is drafting up a nuisance abatement program policy. A program like that would give officials more power to take control of a property if needed. PEPA supports that move. Now that this property is cleaned up. It's amazing, isn't it? I can't believe how much better it looks. She hopes down the road this land can be sold to a family. Treating the land right and being good to their neighbors. Sarah Olshek, KXAN News. And the Hayes County judge told KXAN this property did spark the discussion about creating a nuisance abatement program policy. And as far as the cleanup cost, well, the neighbor says it was close to $100,000. The city of Austin has a nuisance abatement unit working to get property owners to voluntarily fix issues that have been deemed a nuisance. And if they don't, the unit can close any piece of property involved in illegal activities, including businesses and private residences. To report nuisance issues, just call Austin 311.